completely new chemistry of batteries that's going to revolutionize the future of energy storage. Uh, Sodion Energy is a uh, market leader in the manufacturing of sodium ion batteries. Today it's here with its uh, distribution partner AR4 Tech to not only, not only showcase their cells and batteries but a whole host of applications uh, like the UPS, the starter battery, the two-wheeler battery as well as the battery uh, management system. So some of the advantages here, uh, some of the advantages of sodium ion batteries right now are compared to like current technologies are affordability, safety, long lifespan, as well as high discharge, high discharge rate, fast charging, and a few other advantages. Right now, today, in a few, in a few moments, you're gonna be seeing a lot of demonstrations, such as we're gonna be running a mixer grinder using just the UPS. So this is currently not possible with the current technology as uh, when you start a mixer grinder or even a microwave, any home appliances, huge spike in current. L current uh, lead acid as well as lithium ion battery uh, UPSs cannot run this, whereas this is very unique possibility with uh, sodium, sodium energy run UPS. Uh, so to guide us through this magic is Mr. Uh, Bala Pachyapa. are replaced with sodium ions in the battery's cathode, and lithium salts swap for sodium salts in the electrolyte. Sodium is right by lithium on the periodic table, which means that the two are chemically very similar, but sodium is much more abundant. It's also cheaper. If you compare it with the bill of materials for lithium in volume, you're looking at between 24 to 32% less expensive for the bill of materials for sodium ion compared to lithium ion. Another draw of sodium ion batteries is that they have a longer cycle life, meaning that the battery can be charged and discharged more times than lithium ion batteries and can operate in a wider range of temperatures. Most experts believe that sodium ion batteries have the potential to act in tandem with lithium ion technology, alleviating some of its supply constraints rather than replacing it entirely. Thanks to all the developments in lithium, lithium has taken a dominant position over the years. And with, uh, with the new problems of uh, demand and supply issues and also the, uh, the mining issues, all this has made people to look into new kind of chemistry wherein like the material abundance is there, the price can be afforded, and everybody could make sodium-based uh, batteries that need as driven people towards making sodium-based battery. Okay. Take the sodium uh, ion battery capacity or density to 150 to 160 watt hour per kg, okay, which will happen within the next 60, uh, six months time. While this is happening, people are still looking at the next chemistry of uh, currently in a sodium ion cell, like you know, uh, the cathode is uh, uh, sodium cupric ferromagnes oxide. So they're trying to take it, and then the anode is like a, um, hard carbon. People are trying to move the hard carbon-based based anode to graphene-based anode, which likely to give power density uh, increment by 15 to 20%.
This is likely to happen within the next one year. With this changes, we are expecting sodium uh, ion batteries to reach a density level within the next 18 months from 160 to 180 watt hour per kg in the next 18 months or even more than that. Um, that is with this, we started uh, sodium ion and we have a team of people in Singapore and uh, we have like an you know, uh, expert battery guy, uh, part of our team. <laughs>
all of them are competing with each other. Same thing will happen in this chemistry, even moving forward until we develop our talent, develop our resources, like, you know, get to the, to, to the investments. So the collaboration might happen. Even the Europeans are licensing technology from the Chinese. So we are not going to be different. We might be getting the same thing, and we are working with some partners who are willing to license to us. We are looking to put our own cell manufacturing um, in India in the next 18, to 18 months to two years in sodium iron. And by then, we also feel the change in the chemistry will also materialize because it's rapidly changed many chemistry in the last five years. So that will materialize. This is what we're looking at. So how many franchises should we? How many franchises? No, no, we had we are just launching the product. So we will work with all the partners, like you know, uh, the companies which will use our products to put it in their products, like you know, automobile, uh, vehicle company, and all. Right now, we have only one partner. So we're using our battery AR4 technology to put it in the vehicle. In addition to that, we will launching our own starter batteries soon. So what's your price? The price, like you know, um, would be like almost same are slightly higher than that of current lithium chemistry. Yeah, but lithium prices have fallen down. Yes. So would that impact the energy the sodium? Okay, so the lithium price, if falling down, you can have to look at it in two ways. One, either you think it is a glut. Glut, if it is a glut, the correction will catch up. If it is not glut, okay, then there is a difference on pricing. Sodium ion, we are expecting it to reach to 75 to $80 within the next one year. The current glut, lithium ferrite phosphate, has gone to 70 to 75 Okay, So if it is not glut, there is a possibility of we catching up. Assuming if lithium falls further, okay, assuming like you know, it goes from 75 to let's say 55 okay. There may be some more time to do catching up. This game of like who catches who, like you know, will continue.